Josh Axe is a popular alternative medicine proponent. He runs a clinic, a YouTube channel, and the inevitable supplement store. Unlike the subjects of my previous videos, Josh might have a legitimate claim to the title of doctor, having graduated from Palmer College of Chiropractic. Obviously this isn't equivalent to being a medical doctor, and I'm not personally a believer in the supposed science of chiropractic medicine. Nevertheless, it is regulated and authorised by various states and countries around the world. Perhaps more interesting is Josh's claim to the title of Doctor of Natural Medicine. On his LinkedIn, he lists the institution of study as Exodus Clinic, where he claims to have studied from 2008 to 2013. I can't find any information on this clinic or any other graduates, although intriguingly, Axe himself founded Exodus Health Centre in 2008. Perhaps the clinic and health centre are somehow related, in which case my best guess is that Axe awarded himself the degree, which is very convenient. As far as I'm aware, the title of Doctor of Natural Medicine itself is fairly meaningless. Anyone can claim to be a Doctor of Natural Medicine, it's not the same as being a medical doctor or even a naturopathic doctor, and it doesn't afford you any special capacity or function under the law. I guess some people just think it sounds cool. A lot of Josh's videos are focused on diet, recipes and exercise, and some of this information isn't exactly wrong. Look, bone flavour cookies, yak meat and energy balls all sound pretty revolting to me, but that's just a matter of taste. The problem arises whenever Axe espouses an opinion on a medical subject. Let's take a look at one of his videos on the subject of cancer, where he makes a string of basic errors. So the first thing we got to know is, what causes cancer? Two things cause cancer. Let's look at this. So we'll draw up cancer here. Okay, cancer is caused by... One thing is deficiencies. The other thing that can cause cancer is toxicity. First up, Axe introduces the two horsemen of the natural medicine apocalypse as the chief instigators of cancer, toxins and deficiencies. Axe is missing some important and obvious causes of cancer like sunlight, obesity and infections. But let's see what's on his toxins list. Heavy metals, okay? Heavy metals are full of toxins, and actually they're toxins themselves, so things like mercury, arsenic, lead, full of toxins. Could be environmental toxins, I'll just put E here, toxins, so environmental toxins. Number three, I'm going to write personal care products, okay? So personal care products, maybe the shampoo you have at home, the deodorant you're using, the different sort of moisturizers, these things all cause cancer. Number four is going to be pesticides, hormones, antibiotics, fake food. Foods that aren't even real um, will cause toxicity in your body. This list contains the usual suspects. It's a mixture of genuine cancer-causing agents like arsenic and lead that most people aren't excessively exposed to, and the conspiracy-level toxins like shampoo and sweeteners. Cancer Research UK has some information on these controversies, and I'll put links below. This list is also missing genuine toxins that people can avoid in their day-to-day -day lives that would decrease their risk of cancer. Tobacco and alcohol immediately come to mind. Obvious medical advice like smoking and drinking less would be useful in a video like this, but it's pretty boring and I guess it doesn't sell supplements, makeup or detox regimes. Okay, going over deficiencies, top deficiencies are vitamins, number two, anti Oxidants. Antioxidants are essential in t decreasing your risk of cancer. Good, healthy fat. A conventional healthy diet should provide you with all of the vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and healthy fats that are required. And a healthy diet does decrease the risk of cancer. What is not certain is that supplementing any of these perceived deficiencies will actually decrease the risk of cancer. And at least two large trials have found the opposite, with vitamin supplements increasing the risk of cancer in those treated. So let's move on to where Chris starts talking about biology and things really go off the rails. Let me show you on a cellular level what happens with a cancer cell and how a cell becomes cancerous. So right here we have your cell, okay, and your body is made up of over 75 trillion cells and every cell you have in your body has four oxygen receptor sites. And so your body should come on here and should actually bring in oxygen, okay, and so we see that here, all four areas, four oxygen receptor sites, all your cells run off oxygen. It seems like Chris is confusing hemoglobin, the molecule found in your red blood cells, with the actual cells in your body. Cells don't have oxygen receptor sites. 
oxygen diffuses across the cell membrane. I would say this is high school level biology. Otto Warburg, a two-time Nobel Prize winner, has said that the cause of cancer is known. The cause of cancer is when a cell is deprived of 60% of its oxygen intake. And so if you don't have enough oxygen, your cells suffocate and become cancerous. Now here's how your body starts to lose oxygen. One thing could be happening if you have too many toxins in your body, like let's say for instance you're drinking a lot of Splenda, also known as aspartame, which breaks down into chlorine in your body. And so, I'm sorry, Splenda, known as sucralose. What will happen is chlorine takes the place of an oxygen receptor site. So now your cell here is deprived of 40% of its oxygen intake. Otto Warburg never actually said that, and whilst it is true that cancer cells use glycolysis, this is a complicated subject. I might try and make a video on this because it's a popular subject of alternative health conspiracy. Splenda cannot be broken down to chlorine in the human body, and even if it could, your cells don't have oxygen receptors. But even if they did, knocking out one of the four would remove 25% of the cell's oxygen intake and not 40%. Axe can't even manage to remain consistent with his own stupid theory. Another way that your body can start to become cancerous is actually every cell in your body here um, is made up of um, fat. It has what's called a lipid bilayer. And so these cells here, let's say if all these cells are made up of bad fats, let's say margarine, hydrogenated oils, trans fats, that actually doesn't allow things to get in and out of your cell, causing cell congestion. And another thing we just talked about here, would be toxins like pesticides and heavy metals. They will come around here and they will put actually a coating, I'll change the color here to show this, they will put a coating on the outside of your cells blocking your body here from actually being able to get enough oxygen. It doesn't matter how much margarine you eat, your cells will never be made out of it. Trans fats and saturated fats don't replace the lipid bilayer. Pesticides and heavy metals have their own unique mechanisms of toxicity. Heavy metals, for example, might inhibit reactions by binding in the active site of enzymes. I've never heard of this coating theory before, and unfortunately Axe doesn't see the need to support any of his assertions with sources. Axe is an uninformed moron, and I hope I've been able to show that in this short video. He encourages people to believe in a fantasy version of medicine where every disease can be healed by supplements, essential oils, and special recipes. On his video about asthma, for example, Axe claims that 99% of asthma can be treated in this way, encouraging people to ditch the inhalers that might save their life. Alternative medicine doesn't have a monopoly on the idea of a healthy diet. Scientists and doctors everywhere agree that changing your diet can dramatically improve your health and prevent and treat certain diseases. By pushing this false narrative, Axe and others like him will continue to line their pockets at the expense of the health of their customers. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe to the channel.